Okay, so I have that all prepared. And let's get that to the side. Oh yeah, I was thinking about that one. Um, so this is for back here. So when we open this, we have some full size photo opportunity on the top. So that's why I was thinking, I always like the interest of some different size photos to do this. I think that looks cuter visual than do this. Not, nothing wrong with it, but let's create a little bit more interest. And then when we close it, I, I didn't do any doodle on that, that's fine. We can put this in here as well. Which will stand up a little bit, but keeps that flap down. And I'm, I did, I forgot my magnet here, right? That's annoying. But that will work. So it's also we can put it a little bit more to the side, so you don't lose too much of your photo here. And then again, you you take it out, and then you can see the whole photo, right? But again, also we can repeat what I did on the front with this piece of pattern paper in there. Shall I try and see how it looks, how it combines? Now that we're at it anyway. So I think I'm just gonna cut it to... I'm just gonna do six by four. How wide is this? Okay, it's a little bit wider, so that's fine. Um, yep, yeah, I think I'm just going to cut it to Let's do six and one eighth by four and one eighth. If you have a 12 inch piece, you can do six inches. So you can have two, that will work as fine, but I'm gonna be short anyway, so. But this is a little bit darker than the, the other pattern. So I'll have to see how, how this looks. It's quite dark, it's quite dark. Um, nah, too much, it's too much. Nah. It's quite dark, but I think it's okay. So I'm just going to do it because I can always just slide a photo over it. So you could also like not glue it down. Just have it in there loose, no problem. But I just love the better and I just want to use it. <laughs> so again here you can just choose if you are going to put in a full photo or are you going to Put some smaller stuff in there, just something that you... Oh, I need to be quick. It doesn't want to go in. Okay, there we go. Whew. Again, I'm not worrying too much about is it straight or not. I just want it to be in without sticking out. Okay. So there we, there we are. Um, my glue is blowing bubbles. Um, so, yeah, you can just put something like this in here. Um, and something that you just are able to pick out again, or a tag, or something. We, you can be playful with that. And then when we open it, we have our photo opportunity there. You can add an embellishment here if you want to, but I think, I think I'm gonna leave it. Because I just feel that I'm doing too much if I'm going to add something here. But then again, we do have the flowers here. Maybe we do want to have something where that comes back here. So you just have to try stuff and see how you like it. The thing is, but again, I have to look at the bulk. If I would do something like this here, like a little bit of a larger embellishment and you glue it down only partially, then you could make that into 
another tuck spot for something small but I think here well it, I can do it but it's adding to the bulk right it's okay I'm going to think about that one I have to think about it so for now we have this then I need to go here and I still need to do some fuzzy cutting here so I was going to do the E here and then some sm the smaller ones there so I want to use the Y because that's my first letter So I'm using my smaller scissors now because I feel that I need to be a little bit more careful not cutting into other images. And I think I can do the U, but I can also do the T. I'll have to see how this looks. Maybe it's it's ending up being too much. Okay, that's a little bit of a shame. Let me see. Uh, I'm going to cut this out just to be sure. So let's start with this one. So I'm going to roughly cut around the image where I have, let's say, a 1 16th inch wide border showing. At least that's what I'm aiming for. And yeah, I'll try not to be too hard on myself. Okay, so here I have some of that gold. I'm just going to cut it away. It's going to be too much of a fuss for me to cut around it. It's hanging loose there. Okay. So there is quite some white here. So I'm thinking of going in with my craft knife to uh, get rid of that as well. Um, kind of in doubt like am I going to back this one with black first and see how I like it before I do the other ones now the question is how far am I taking this because I just see more and more that I want to cut away One more little piece here. Okay, so I think I'm going to back this one with black and repeat the same thing and then see how I like it before I'm going to fuzzy cut the other ones. Okay, so here we are. I still need to do the little bit of black with my craft knife. Uh, but I'm trying to get a view of how I like this. I'm not 100% sure. It's not that I don't like it. But it's also not wowing me. So again, I'm going in here. To see if there's something that I might like better. No. Nope. No. Mm. Okay, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing to these ones and just see how it looks with all three of them all prepared and then um, I can make a decision so I think I'm going to do that off camera and I will be back with you when all of that is prepared okay here we are again and as you can see I've changed some things <laughs> I just I was not feeling it with this uh, I didn't even continue with with cutting it I was having it here and it's not that it's looking bad but I'm, I'm just not feeling it so then I thought maybe on this side makes it a little bit better for me I think because the letter is here and um, it's just like also with these animals like when they're facing that way then you want to have the action there I don't know it's it's hard to explain but um, so maybe that already looks a little bit better uh, but then I went into my uh, booklet I went to uh, this sheet and I cut out these two flower arrangements with a apple with it they are not too big but they are a little bit weird in shape so I could turn it but then the apple would be uh, tipped over so I think I want to have the apple straight that feels the normal thing to do also here so it would hang over the photo a little bit but then I would place it on the outside so I think I like that a little bit better and then I had this squirrel I hope it's a squirrel <laughs> with another flower uh, that we maybe we can collage together a little bit like that on here I think I like that better I'm still not sure yeah yeah okay so no okay yep I think I'm going to do that so I'm going to glue these ones down so again I'm just having I'm eyeballing a little bit so how high I can go with my glue make sure that I stay a little under that and I want to have all those ends have a nice stick I think I'm going to put them on the outside I don't know where I left my bone folder. It's probably somewhere underneath my stuff. And also the sun was really shining uh, through the window. So I uh, closed my um, blinds a little bit. So it might be that it feels a little bit dark right now. But trust me it's better than the sun shining on here. Make sure that doesn't stick over. So I need to stay a little bit above that point. Yeah, I had a little bit of glue where I don't want it, so I'm having that on that scrap piece now and not on my photo spot. Okay, there. Okay, and then I need to do this. So let's use this piece for it. Ink it up. And then in the meantime, I have been thinking about some other things that I might want to do in here. So I do want to get a little bit of a hurry up. But this is just something that takes time. It's the final details and they're just as important as anything else. So to me, that's also what I just did here. I did put all that work in that fuzzy cutting and then I don't use it. Even though I put in all the work, if I'm not feeling it, I'm not feeling it. And if I'm still going to stick it down, chances are really high that I'm going to regret it. So just forget all the work that you did. 
maybe you can use it somewhere else that might be a really good opportunity and otherwise tough luck it's not going to be used it's also weird i've prepared a lot of the fuzzy cutting i might end up not using all of that that's okay with me so i'm just making it appear like these flowers are oh, don't do that too much that the squirrel is behind these flowers if that is even in frame <laughs> so close my glue so the sun is shining on my window I'm wearing a sweater it's pretty hot <laughs> uh, that's okay we have been well I say very lucky uh, maybe it's a really bad thing but um, the weather here is um, way warmer than you would expect this time of year which I don't mind because I really love the warm weather I'm not so much a fan of fall and winter I really enjoy springtime and summer even though often in summer it's just too hot to really be outside during the day but still there is a lot of daylight and it just makes me happier but we are very lucky here that it's we still have some really warm days basically sometimes there is a little bit of a colder wind or the sun is not coming through as much but like monday it was thanksgiving here and in canada and um i pre-booked some tickets to go to the farm they had like a I don't know if it was called a fall festival or a harvest festival i'm not sure anymore but they had like a pumpkin patch and a big corn maze and you can do a wagon ride you could do some apple picking they had a large play area for the kids so i pre-booked those tickets for monday morning just to have some fun time with the kids before we had our turkey dinner with some friends and um we were so lucky i think it was about 23 degrees celsius uh, which was actually just really warm we could we didn't need a jacket we were, it was it was awesome we were so so lucky so i enjoy a day like that way more when it's a little bit warm than when you're like chilly and cold and need to wear a jacket and there's a cold wind there was some live music and some nice food so it's uh, that was a big success we had a lot of fun there and they are even saying that we might go be able to go trick or treating without a jacket and then they say to prepare for a cold winter with a lot of snow so we'll see okay here we are I can never make up my mind uh, completely until I see it with that black that just makes it pop off so I'm going to place it where it's going over the pocket and that's okay that's not a problem at all I just need to make sure that I don't glue it shut there, right? Okay, I'm just going for this. I need to stay under this point roughly. Just eyeballing that a little bit. So somewhere here, not lower than that. And the rest I can glue down. So if you have a lot of room in your album, you could also do this with dimension, right? But in this album, you just don't have that room. You would really need to increase your gussets, etc. to be able to do that. Um, yeah, so if you want to, you can absolutely, you can do that. Just make sure that you give yourself that, that room to do it. So that's basically why I'm not doing it right. Again, that bulk. And then it would be really fun to not just collage it onto each other, but maybe just stick the squirrel down and have the... Uh, the flower popping up with some dimension okay 
So now we need to place some photo mats in there. So I already have one prepared here. It doesn't matter that it's... Uh, I, I can do it like this in here. But I think I'm just going to do this. Put another full size photo with that. here and then some smaller stuff probably in the front okay I always intend to go for the portrait style photo I think it's because a lot of the photos that I make I make with my phone and I intend to do that in the portrait direction. Um, so I, I, I just noticed also that I almost always make portrait style albums. I have a few landscape style albums but not much. So either they are square or they are portrait style. I think I have about three landscape albums on my, uh, on my channel. So maybe I should do that a little bit more. So I can do another large one, but I think I want to do some smaller ones. So I'm going to do some... Uh, I can do a 3 by 4 and For a 4 by 4 I have to cut, but I will just cut one of these and I've got a mat for it. Okay, so just because I'm using smaller size photos doesn't mean that you have to, right? You can just do it with full size photos. If that's what you prefer. I know this stamp and everything, it's so unprofessional, but it's what I have. So. <laughs> I do have a Misty these days, by the way. Okay. So that's that. I like it. Nice. Uh, so we can close it. It was magnetized, right? Yeah. So I was thinking I'm going to change this around. I just changed my mind. Does that look better or is it too much of that pattern? Oh yeah, no, that's not looking any better. Uh, but I also have, because I don't know, it's maybe it's a little bit too dark. So I'm thinking, do I like something that is a little bit lighter, better there? Not that one. I think I'm going to try this one. This one there, and then oh, why not? Maybe I'll find another spot for it, otherwise, that's where it's gonna stay. Okay, so I need to cut my pieces for that. I keep changing my mind, I know, I know, I know. Okay, so this card already has a lot of white, so I'm not going to do the white border around it. I think that will be fine. Oh, that's a little bit much of the ink. So I think I'm just going to do it like this. And this card is not a really perfect 3x4. Um, so I cut my black mat down as well a little bit. how 3 by 4 fits on here yes that will work 
So if I do a journal card in here, or like with the cut parts, then I do try to make that into a journal opportunity or a photo opportunity and not just have it in there for looking pretty. And still that doesn't mean that you have to use it, but you can. That's that. I think I'm going to like it like this. Yep. Okay, so then here. I kind of liked what we did here. So I think I'm going to do that. Have some photo mats in there. And then we can do some photo mats in here. I still have that. And I have that. And I have that's too small so I have these scrap pieces and I'm thinking would that look good to have it in here I think it might look really good so I'm just gonna cut this piece six and one eight by four and one eight Do we like that? I kind of do. And then you can still put a photo in there, right? Like I said, if I have papers left, then I might consider doing it. So I'm just going to leave it like this for now. And I was also thinking, I want to see what we can achieve if we put a larger photo mat in here. So I think this one is smaller. I just, I, I remember it from decorating, but I don't remember it from constructing that I used a different size there but apparently I did and I'm not sure if I made a mistake or it's like that in the cutting guide and it's intentional I, I just don't remember but here I can fit in six and a quarter which is fine because that's also what I wanted to do there so I'm going to cut myself a piece six and a quarter by I, I'm thinking seven just to keep it easy yeah so I need a new sheet so that would give us this piece to slide in here. Do I need to make that a little shorter? I guess I do. Well, that's okay. And I just took that out of there. So if I make it even a little shorter, I can still fit a nice photo mat on there with some pattern paper or like this. You can also go like this. Or put pattern paper on here and mount it on top of it. But remember, again, the bulk. So I'm kind of thinking, because we do have quite some scrap pieces, so... That could be an opportunity. Okay, so I cut mine to 6 and 1 eighth of an inch. And that still fits there, but my border is a little bit smaller. That's okay. I don't know. I think I'm not gonna do this. I'm just gonna put photos in there. I think I like that better. But you can if you want to. So this one is all done. It's nice. Some background noise there. I'm sorry. We're still dealing with that. And I'm considering to be lucky actually this week because they were supposed to. Um, do the driveways with you call that asphalt asphalt as well in english um and that would gonna was gonna be really a lot of noise i guess but they have not started yet so it's actually quite quiet but they you still hear some machines here and there and i noticed with editing 
the first part of this video that in the beginning there was something that was it's like a warning signal for when something is backing up or in this case whenever it's moving in any direction I, di I didn't even hear it anymore I didn't notice which is probably for me personally a good thing but not when you're filming and you don't notice that that sound is going on so I'm sorry for that I didn't realize But we're almost there. I think when they've done with the with the driveways and then they need to do the, the main road basically in front of my house. I think after that we are done with the really um, bad um, noise. Okay, that's good. I don't think I'm going to do anything here. You could do, which I do sometimes. And if I would do it in this case, I would probably put it down with something temporarily, like a removable glue. But you could do something like this. Which is actually looking pretty nice, right? And when we place this, oh no, then this will be closed. So, um, yes, I think I'm going to do it. Some more fuzzy cutting because I didn't fuzzy cut enough. Okay, oh, here it is. I'm just saying I put those scraps to the side, but I didn't remember where. So my room is one complete mess. I did post a picture on my Facebook page while I was working on the um, the uh, Sea Dream Waterfall album. And that was just my desk. But I have basically everything stored on the floor. And um, that's not a good thing. It's messy here and my daughter also sleeps here so it's totally not fair towards her either but well she's young but still um, so I did I I'm just putting it off I still have to put up put up some stuff on the walls to just be a little bit better organized and not having to put everything on my desk but I did order um, I've ordered it from scrapbook.com. It's their own product line for storage. They have the, I think it's the file, is it the, not, not a file folder? I'm not sure what it's called again, but uh, they have new storage where you can really place your 12 by 12 papers in. And I have been looking at the other storage opportunities from them as well, but basically the shipping, it's just crazy with those large, with the large, um, products right the international shipping so but this they they ship flat so it was actually not too bad and I could order some other stuff with it as well so I just decided to do it so I'm hoping that's coming in and then I can at least store my 12 by 12 papers a little bit more decent because it's basically just lying on the floor right now and Sometimes when my daughter comes in here and she, she will just grab it and she will fold it and yeah, you can imagine that I'm not getting really happy with that so I just need to do something about it because I cannot get mad with her when I'm the one that's storing my stuff everywhere where it's not supposed to be. So I've decided uh, when I'm done with this and I'm still working on something small at the, basically at the same time when I have some time to craft but I'm not able to film um, but I will film a tutorial for it but it's a really quick project and once I'm done with that one I need to clean up before I start something new okay so I will do something about that little black thing here and really you don't have to you could even just leave the white in there but I just for some reason had to took it out okay so here no I'm not gonna worry about that part I even do that sometimes here where there's a little bit thicker black between between two spots like here in between the leaves I would even go there with my knife to cut it away so if you want to glue this down um, you what you can do is just put a little bit of glue here on the black and place it but you really have a chance of gluing stuff down that you don't want to glue down so basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my removable glue 
to stick it down for now you can also use a paper clip to hold it in place until you have your photos and if you have your photos here you can just glue it down don't worry about it so i'm just putting some on here And hopefully that's gonna stay. You do I need to turn this a little bit? I don't mind if the apple is a little bit uh, tipped over, but not too much. Okay, this is good enough for now. Yeah, that's kind of fun. But again, you need to find the right photo to place with that. So I'm going to close this. I will make uh, the embellishment here. I'm going to do two photo mats in here, in there, and um, we are going to close this. Okay, come on. getting tight but that's what we want but up to the point where we can still fit everything in of course um, yes so this frame here I was thinking of just doing the same thing that I just did so I can use this piece and I can decide what I think is more interesting uh, to cut uh, six yeah like this is 12 inches, so if you want to use both, you can just cut it to 6, that would work fine. Um, or you cut it to 6 and 1 8 of an inch by 4 and 1 8 of an inch. Okay, I just cut that up completely to my liking. <laughs> uh, probably we will lose some because of the frame, so keep that in mind as well. See, you're not even going to see that apple there, but okay was the bottom of the sheet nothing more that I can do about that okay so I like that maybe I can let in a little bit more light okay that's a little bit better let's hope the Sun is not gonna be too bright um, okay so I'm still in doubt if I'm going to do an embellishment here I was thinking I might do something here just to uh, Okay, I don't know what that is. I don't know if you will be able to hear that, but it's annoying. Hmm. I might fuzzy cut some more flowers to go on here. Because this, I would want that on the bottom of something. No. So maybe I will do that, but I, then again I also really have to think about the bulk. Because every layer that I put in here is one extra layer. So, but what I was thinking, and I'm all over the place again. Oh yeah, I can also do something there. Same thing that we did on the other side. Okay, let's keep that in there. I wanted to work on the, on the outside a little bit. So I'm pretty sure that for the spine, I want to use the same paper that I've used on the front, the, the, the wood grain. So I'm just going to cut myself that piece and I think is this is the right height I think. Yes. So if I'm just going to continue this cut then I can just use it. Okay, so I think in this way it will line up. Yeah. Okay, so I just made that cut and the uh, spine is one and three eighths. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do one and a quarter. Okay, yep. Yeah. 
So I'm just checking if it fits, and it does. So I'm going to ink it and put double-sided tape on it first. Okay, so I'm just going to stick this onto the spine. So I'm going to be brave. Okay, that's, that piece is on the spine, like that, and I turn it over to the back. So I still have this piece, which is, with, which is completely in the wrong direction to place it like this, but I think I can still get away with it. And I have this much of the pink left that I can use. I can fit this on the cover if I want to, uh, because this is too small for my belly band so I need to combine it with something so I was thinking I'm going to cut small strips from this paper and then I have this in the 12 by 12 and I'm thinking I'm going to cut that with the leaves on top for the back cover because I've been going through my scraps and I, I need to cut into something new for the back cover which is totally fine so I think I'm going to do my best to cut some small strips out of that pink And you know, we just have to keep in mind, it's just the back cover. So I have all my uh, strips here in something to keep it all a little bit under control. Um, I think I'm going to cut it to length first. Okay, just did that. Um, Yeah, so this is, this is, uh, I, I'm gonna do a little over a quarter inch. I just wanna have a small strip. And I know those are crazy small strips to work with, but sometimes that's what I do. Then I need to cut the width of the other piece. So is this, this is a 3 8 inch. So if I cut this to 3 8 as well, just try it. If it doesn't work out, we won't use it. Somebody gave me a tip for washi tape. I might need to do that actually. Okay, that's not too bad. I need to cut that down a little bit as well. Um, okay, so what am I going to start off with? With the belly band. So I'm going to take it off of the cover. That's the easiest, I guess. First these strips on here. I'm just gonna go for it because you know what? It's all good. So I'm going to ink all of this up. I'm going to place my strips and I'm going to do the very best I can to get that straight and hopefully somewhat lined up. And then I will cut my piece to go in between. I think I just found my bone folder here. Woohoo! Yeah, it's uh, like I said, once there is some stuff on there and in there, it's not going to lay flat as good. So we're going to have to try to do our best here. Or I need to do my best. So I'm just going to go for a small black border. I can go a little lower, I think. Straighten it out. Okay. 
Okay, that's one, I think. I know you can probably hear what I'm hearing. So I'm sorry, I don't know what it is, I don't know where it's coming from. First I thought somebody was playing music in his car really loud, but I don't think that that is the case. Okay, so what do I have here? Just under four and three quarters. And that, that looks like that is pretty straightforward the case. So I think I'm going to cut my piece to four and three eighths of an inch in width by seven and a quarters high. Four and five eighths or four and three eighths? Four and three eighths, it's just under four and a half. Okay, let's hope I get it right. Okay, that looks good. Nice. And I think this is the best way it from the top or have it on the bottom both looks good actually let's do it on top Just try to even out the black space between my strips and my large piece on both sides. And I actually miraculously did a pretty straight job here. Which often is not the case when I do things like this. Okay, so we have that. Now the only question is, do I want to have the pink strips on the cover itself as well? Or no? Cut it in height, which I think I can still cut that down a little bit more to make it even. I think I'm just gonna do it, and then I'm going to cut that other piece. So let me get that out of the paper bag. Okay, so one piece is actually just a little short. Um, that's okay. I'm gonna make it work. And then I have quite some um, pieces in that little white bin that I had earlier with all the strips. Because I think I've got some of that, um, like that plain background paper. Uh, for frames that I end up not using, but I think I can use that on the um, gusset areas of my um, belly bands. Okay, so I need to do this with tape actually. Why? Because you want to use Tyvek, that's why. Do I have my 3 8 inch tape close by? It should fit if I did my job right with cutting, but uh, chances are pretty high that I have not cut it really good, so we'll see. Yeah, need to trim that down slightly. Okay, this is something that is close by.
just going for it we'll see what happens okay I'm sorry if you can hear my husband in the background talking he's uh, having a meeting I guess okay that's not bad same thing for this one and I really have to eyeball that I'm at the same height basically and then hopefully evening out my space on the side that I'm somewhat straight but like I said the strip is actually a little bit short okay what do I need to go in between here this is six and three eighths and again yeah my strip is a little bit shorter there but I'm going to cut it a hair over six and a quarter and then I should be fine by uh, seven so I'm going to cut six and a quarter this way and then to hide Okay, we'll make that work. So maybe now I want to do it like this, because I have the flowers on top there. I think I might do that. Oh, I have a little bit of the glue there, but I'm not able to cut it away now. Uh, I need to do my edges with tape, the sides, so that's this side. Okay. So I did those edges with tape because that's going on top of the tie back. And then I will fill in the rest with glue because it's a little bit quicker now. Let's be careful with this. I think this is okay. So what am I going to do? I love how this is feeling nice and filled up now. Not so empty anymore. Um, I'm going to place my belly band back and show you the back. That's the first thing that I'm going to do. Okay. So here we have it, the back. And those magnets are holding up pretty good actually, I'm surprised. Okay, I like how that turned out. It may be a little bit one-toned, but that's okay. It's just a back cover. Um, what am I going to do? Like I said, I have those strips here with this pattern. I think I am going to place them here. Just to finish that up. And I do have some small pieces of that so I can cut more if I need to. I still have my piece that I've used on the spine. Although I don't know where I left it right now. Oh, here it is. Uh, I can use that on here if I want to, but I'm not sure. Maybe I just leave this black. The this. I'm thinking. I'm still thinking about that. Um, but I do think I want to do something here. So that would be something like this. I think I like that and then um, I'm going to continue on the inside with with um, the photo mats uh, for here uh, I'm a little bit in doubt because I don't really have more scrap pieces to put pattern paper in there that I think would work with it there's one thing that might work uh, because basically we did pattern paper everywhere and I still have quite some pattern paper, full sheets. So I might, I might put this in there, but I'm not sure if it will work. 
I can try it just to show you because these are the largest pieces that I have left from the scrap pieces and then that piece that I've just used on the back but I don't think that I like that um, this might be a little bit too busy for me and it also goes for this one although I really like this paper but I just didn't find use for it I guess uh, but if I take this one and uh, I'm just going to cut I think 5 and 1 eighth an inch by 7 and a quarter and if I don't like it then I don't use it come on you can slide in there it's okay I'm not so sure about this maybe I'm just going to do a photo uh, I have that other one as well so then it would be this maybe this is just gonna be the cover I think that's better Okay, so uh, I have some more embellishments uh, laid out that I wanted to use. So I'm going to continue on those. I think we get the idea now of where I'm going. So I'm going to do the final parts of camera. And then I will be back with a final project share. Yay! I also might consider putting something here. And then uh, that would be something like this, I think. But because I don't have something else. I don't have enough of the pink or something. So that is big enough. Uh, so I might consider doing that as well. Uh, so yes, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. And uh, like I said, if you made it and you finished it and you want to share it with me, please do. I would love to see your takes on this. Uh, so thank you for joining me in this project. I think it was a lot of fun and I will definitely do another project like this. Uh, so thank you for that. And uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day. And uh, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.